My name is Jason Strout. I'm currently a boxing trainer at Church Street Boxing Gym. Before I started training fighters, I actually competed. I won a state championship in boxing, and then I moved on to training. I've had a lot of experience with training. Amateur boxing is growing in popularity nationwide. And the most important piece of equipment any boxer needs is the right pair of gloves. I know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about gloves. That's what's protecting your hand. So you don't want to just get any old cheap glove, go out to the store and buy something cheap. You want to spend a little bit more money to protect your hands. To help choose the right gloves, the New York Times asked Strout to gear test a few pairs and explain what he looks for. Make sure you're not smashing your thumb, make sure your wrist feels comfortable, make sure your hand feels comfortable. If you're banging your hands and you have a glove that doesn't give a lot of protection, you're going to hurt your hands and then maybe you're not going to box again, maybe you're not going to work out. I noticed right off the bat when I first tried them on, they seem a little top heavy. What I mean by top heavy is kind of all the weights in the front instead of in the wrist. I do like the weight. It's great for the upper body workout, great for the shoulders. Like I feel my shoulders getting tired as I'm punching. I'm not able to punch as fast with these gloves as I was with some of the other gloves, some of the smaller gloves. Some of the times when I've hit, I felt my wrist kind of twist back. It doesn't seem like there's that much support in the wrist. Overall, I'd have to rank these gloves near the middle, not near the top, but they are a decent brand of gloves. Got a good support over the knuckles. I said, I wish they had a little bit more wrist support. I first noticed there's a lot of padding over the knuckle area, over the proper area you want to hit with with your fist, the first two knuckles. Some of the gloves I've tried on today, they've all had good padding on the knuckles, but sometimes I feel like there was too much on the front part of the knuckles. Feels like there's a lot of extra material in the palm when I'm trying to make the fist. So instead of making a tight fist, I feel like I'm squeezing and straining to make a fist. So it's actually making my arm more tired. I do believe I like the black color of the, of the Everlast gloves because they'll, uh, they'll last longer, they won't look as dirty. The black always seems to hide the dirt and sometimes the bags at boxing gyms aren't the cleanest. I like the weight of them, I like the feel of them, I feel like I can move pretty fast. They're a decent pair of gloves, um, I wouldn't necessarily rank them at the top, but uh, having fun using them, so that's got to say something. Now I'm trying out the tough wear. And I noticed with the tough wear, they kind of look generic, basic gloves. And as I was trying the gloves out, these were actually the last ones I tried out. They feel actually pretty good. The elastic holds strong. I got great wrist support on these gloves. I feel like I got great protection over the knuckles. Um, I'm actually looking forward to hitting the bag with these. I'd have to give these, these gloves two thumbs up. Um, great protection, like I said. Great durability. They're going to last you a long time. Um, <coughs> Yeah, overall, I'd, I'd rank these near the top, if not the top gloves. I could spend all day hitting the bag with these gloves. <laughs>